Are there signs of evolution in your body? Millions have watched this video that claims that some of our arm and ear muscles, as well as goosebumps and our tailbones, are leftovers from our supposed evolutionary past. Let's find out if this is true. But first, let's see the big picture. In the 1890s, so called vestigial organs numbered as high as 180. Now, modern science is actually down to zero. The most recent so called vestigial organs to make the we actually need these list are the tonsils, the appendix, and the pineal gland. We've learned that the tonsils and appendix help fight off infection. The pineal gland is critical for biorhythms and sleep. What about the palmaris longus? Is it a vestigial part of our bodies? A long, slender muscle in some of our forearms that's left over from the evolutionary process? While most of us have it, between 2% and 64% of various people groups around the world do not. But this is no different than the prevalence of wisdom teeth, having three, four, or five vertebrae fused in our tailbones, or many other subtle differences we see in humans. Whether we have this muscle or not makes very little impact in our lives. Some studies show it improves pinch strength, but others say it doesn't. We see variable traits in all species. What's going on here is no different than the variability we see in the animal world. For example, finches, lizards, or mice. One recent study tracked over 1,000 finch beaks. It showed that finches have epigenetic mechanisms that change their beaks within even one generation. Rather than proving evolution, as Darwin tried to do with this very species, the latest science actually reveals that these adaptive mechanisms come built in. This fits the creation model's concept of a supernatural programmer who equipped creatures to track and adapt to their environments as they fill the earth. We see the same thing with anolis lizards, which rapidly change the length of their legs within one generation based on the type of vegetation they've adapted to. Similarly, the same species of field mice deployed short tails when they live in the prairies, or long tails with additional vertebrae if they live in forested habitats. The longer tails of forest-dwelling mice is the result of non-random innate biomechanical sensors that respond to forested environments where longer tails are beneficial. This precise and purposeful bone length and number adjustments point to intentional design. So, the variability we see between people and sometimes people groups, such as having a palmaris longus or not, has nothing to do with evolution. It simply shows variability that was pre-engineered into our genes passed down from Adam, the very first human. In closing, we would like to share why we make these videos. For those who are already Christians, we hope these videos strengthen your faith. It's important that Christians know they can trust God's Word, all the way back to the beginning, especially in a world saturated with evolution teaching. To those being drawn to faith in Christ, trusting in God's Word is part of that process. Even though you might not fully believe in these things now, we pray you will grow in trust and understanding that God's Word is both scientifically and historically credible, all the way back to the beginning. Your faith journey begins with repentance and turning away from your sins, realizing that Christ suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that He might bring us to God. In the words of Jesus, Most assuredly, I say to you, He who hears my word and believes in Him who sent me has everlasting life, and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. We encourage you to take this first step to a new life. Looking for answers about what the Bible teaches about creation, the fossil record, dinosaurs? Download the Genesis Apologetics app from the iTunes or Google Play stores for answers to these questions and more. <laughs>